Hi guys, welcome to another Living SATV video, David here. So, as promised a month ago, today was the day that we have done the first cleanup event in the inner city privately. So, we teamed up with the, the Jonesburg Culinary and Pastry School with Geraldine and Joel and amazing people that we met today, people that really care about the city. And we made a difference and we went out there in order to show you guys how it needs to be done as active citizens and we need to use our power to make the difference so i hope you guys enjoy this amazing video because we covered the whole event so stay tuned because once again this video will educate your mind look at this hey incredible city is ours guys we are cleaning, we're making the difference. That's what we need to do as someone that cares about the city. This city is ours, ours to change. Look, there's a big one as well, and I've got a few ones here um, for the map. We are currently about four blocks, right? We all will start here. Some people will go with uh, various marshals, so you just follow, put yourselves a month, and then you all walk around in the block and then be back here. It's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours to clean because there is a lot of ground as well. Please, if you see any potholes, if you see any drains that are blocked, please maybe take a picture of it or tell the marshal and which street it was on so that um, we can actually just send it back to the city and then they actually see that as well. If there's any bins that are broken as well on the corners, please just take note of those things if you can remember that. Okay? Please also grab a bottle of water for the road. It is going to get quite hot. The weather is nice today. So please grab a bottle of water for the road and everybody will meet back here for a nice show and a nice lunch. Okay. Awesome. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Come on. Let's clean up the city. So, guys, today we are cleaning up the CBD. So, we got a small group here the moment inside of the Johannesburg Pastry and Culinary School so we're gonna clean up the streets and we're doing this privately because we can got some water here I'm good man I'm good good how are you ma'am I'm good good great there you go guys that's what are we going to do Okay guys, so today we're going to meet uh, Jarlene Joel yes. and uh, tell us Jarlene who you are, why you're doing this. Okay, so I'm the co-owner of the Johannesburg Culinary and Pastry School. Myself and my husband started the business um, and we basically moved from the Maboning precinct to the Joburg Sipa to the banking, banking district and we know that we have a lot of issues in our country guys but we need to be the change. So we need to actively do something, be part of whatever's happening, just participate, just show up. You don't know what change you're going to make. Just make a little bit of difference and you'll be surprised how it actually avalanches and turns into something massive. So let's do this, man. Let's do it. Yeah. You guys can see that operations already started. Got some people on this side. Got some people on this side. But it's so difficult to get the city involved in the ad meetings with him twice. Sure. But they just don't pitch sometimes. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna sort out this now. So you guys can see the before and after. What happens is we when we actually fill up the bags, we're gonna put everything in front of the of the school so pick it up can come and actually uh, take them away. That's basically it. You know, small little stuff, but makes a huge difference. How are you, sweetie? Thank you so much for participating, eh? Are you one of our students? Can you tell me why you're doing what you're doing? To help you To keep the environment clean, eh? You want to take pride in your city. You attend school in the city, right? Yeah. So you want it to look good, am I right? Thank you so much for participating. 
Amen. Yes. Well done. So that we are cleaning up the weeds there. There you go, that's where we put it. That one is filling up quickly. <laughs> How's it man? How are you? Good, good. So tell us, why are you doing this? Beginning to see CBT, for the sake of environment and everything to do with And taking care of your city because it's yours. My city. I get you. Thank you very much. And your name is? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you so much for helping us with this. Yes. So you guys can see that everyone basically is doing something in, in their bit to keep the streets clean. Shame, man. They're working hard, eh? Hi, guys. How are you? So can you tell us who you are guys, what you are doing, why you are doing this? Because you guys are working so hard here, you know? <laughs> so we are a part of the Janus Boat Color and Toys School. We start the initiative in a city clean up and we are doing this to promote community building, um, having a clean environment in the city, possible job creation and also just to create awareness, bring everybody in the city together because the city is a beautiful place so we need to keep we are the city, we need to keep it clean. So that is why we are doing this today. Amazing, amazing. Yes. And you, you also bring your boy also to work. How are you, man? Very good. What's your name? Nice to meet you, man. And uh, why, why are you here helping to clean up the city? You want the community to help to clean the city and you want to keep the city clean. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, my man. Thank you. God bless you. You guys can see that the, the city also has, you know, these bins all over. And uh, people are always collecting garbage around the city. And you can see the streets are actually in pretty good shape. The point of actually showing you guys this event is actually make this a normal occurrence within the city you know what i mean make this a vital thing making sure that you understand that you can make the difference you know you don't have to wait for anyone do it yourself this is what we do here in living in ctv hi guys thank you very much for coming thank you thank you thank you so who are you tell me why are you guys doing this um actually we are we are engaging we from mesha this is my director, so um, he's mentoring me. And then uh, the people from the Calvary and Pastry School, um, it is just things we, we, we read about and now we're engaging with, with them. It's something awful they're doing. And then I hope that's not the first time that we engage with them. But it's something awesome and phenomenal what they're doing until they can come to And thank you and very just much. To say, uh, just to say that this is our partners. Always good to work with them. Love them to bits and any any engagement we will definitely come out together. Perfect. Thank you very much for guys for making the difference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you people. Go brother. Hey guys, my name is Sizwe Kumede. I am from Alberton. Uh, but I spend a lot of time in the city because I love the city of Johannesburg. I also have an investment property in small streets, so I want to see the city clean so the value of my property can go up. And I'm a proud Joburg person. Thank you so much, man. So, and I can see you already like filling up everything, man. Thank you so much for your work. Thanks for participating. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, brother, tell us who you are, why you're doing this, why you want to make the difference. Um, okay, now my name is Kate. I work in a first job at Calvary Pastry School. Um, we're currently doing that to, to help clean up the community in Johannesburg um, with the initiative from Jalin and Kelvin. Um, so more or less, you know, to, to, to keep Johannesburg clean. And you know, we, we hope that um, with people seeing that, that uh, more people can come out and help us because you know, we'd like to keep our, 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 our area clean, our Johannesburg clean, you know, so that's, you know, that's good to go. Thank you so much for your help. Really, really thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. And it must be patient. Yeah, you gotta be passionate to do this because, you know, it just irritates me so much why why people don't see the good people doing, you know? 
There you go, guys. Teamwork. 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 Thank you, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, everyone is fine. <laughs> so, basically, the bus just came in and we needed to put our, ourselves on the side. <laughs> but it's Saturday, you know, weekends are actually the best times to come to the CBD because everything is so cold. Let me show you guys. So we're next to the Standard Bank building. The Janice Birthplace Street School is here, so this was where we met and started doing this. So we got literally four different blocks in the city. Uh, and yeah, guys, it's stuff like this that makes a difference. So jump out of your sofa, come to the city, come to these events, because shame on you if you don't do so. Hi, my brother. So tell us who you are, what you're doing, and what the city means so much to you. Well, I'm, I'm, my name is Calvin Joe, co-owner of Johannesburg Color and Pastry School. And I think it's an initiative that we think we need to start cleaning our city, taking pride in where we work. Um, and I think if everyone starts doing their little bit, um, it will make a big difference. Um, and I, the reason why it's, it's something so close to my heart, I, I think everyone is like almost giving up on the city. And I think it's our responsibility as civilians, as business owners, to start taking responsibility and take our city back. Active citizens. Active citizens. Jump out of your sofa, make the difference because we got a lot of power as citizens and people don't understand that. And we need to actively work every week, day, month, and year. Thank you so much for your welcome, testimony, welcome. man. Don't want to mess up your. Okay, guys, starting to piling up here. You know, like small stuff like this. People afterward? Yes, I am. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you do what you do? Why do you do what you do? To give uh, people food. Huh? They need to eat. That's it. Awesome. You see stuff like that? You see guys see stuff like this? Makes a lot of difference. Just cleaning. Hey guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. You guys are on the other side of the city, make sure you guys do the same. Something so simple can make such a huge impact. Huge, huge impact. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so this just shows the idea that if we all have a common a common goal it doesn't matter if you are <laughs> white black Indian Chinese white whatever guys we work all for the same so instead of having this idea of being separate let's come all together and make the difference because if things are not working it's because of us and we really need to be more proactive and make the difference Okay guys, so I want to know what is the city doing with something regarding this because everything is clogged and why is this thing not being clean? Not acceptable, not acceptable. If you guys are seeing this video, clean all this stuff. This is normal. Guys. Another thing guys, is this even normal? No, I need I need to show this stuff because this is completely not acceptable my god so to give you guys an idea the sewer is there the one that is clogged right there literally and this is next to it it's two things in basically three meters no four five meters unacceptable okay guys so you guys see what we are doing we're literally next to the receipt street or the old post office Jonesburg City Hall a little bit of and more people coming that side so the, the, I hate this side because all the garbage that you guys can see there you know you guys can see there no I I, I, I blame the city and the uh, why we need to do this in our private capacity you now it's uh, not acceptable not acceptable look at this 
But this is not acceptable. What do you think about this? I, this is unacceptable. Do you think this is acceptable? I mean, for how can you look like this? I have no idea. Look at this. Wow. Really, we need to do this in our private capacity to clean this place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo. Yeah, look, this is a pit of diseases, guys. This stuff could be needles, can be anything there. That, that, that's that's a, a public hazard. Why is nothing being done? I've been here for so many months. This is nothing, nothing being done about this. Nothing. And if you think the same, please put the things down in the comments because this is outrageous. Okay, now we are in one of the parks. Behind the restricted post office, I think it's called the Oppenheim Park. Guys, once a month to two hours doing this stuff. So much potential that we have as a population and we we just block ourselves with so much noise instead of focusing on what it's important guys another thing that is unacceptable there is people literally injecting themselves here in this park I actually is the first time that i came in and i see this not acceptable because you've got kids playing basketball they're on the court know what I mean it's um, of course you know like we can I can literally come to the city and uh, say that you know all the right things about it and yada yada but uh, the truth is you know there's a lot of garbage there's a lot of stuff and people get thoughtful of this you know people make the difference themselves you know You know what I mean? So this is the basketball. Be proud to play here. Make it your own. You must make it your own. You go to where you every day you want it to be clean. Yeah, I agree also generally. You need to participate. So even people that use these spaces every day, they don't do these simple stuff, you know, it's just easy to throw away. You can see the surrounding of the park. Okay guys, I'm gonna be very honest about this. We wanted to clean this, but this place is so... I don't know how even to describe this place, but it's so bad that I'm not gonna allow these hardworking people to clean any of this, you know? Just, I don't know, we are literally to the municipality and this place looks like this. This is completely unacceptable. For all of you guys receiving the 350 without doing anything, earn your money. Go and clean what you have to clean, earn that money. Because I see a lot of you guys sitting in these parks without doing anything. You are healthy, you're young, you can do a lot of stuff, but you're not doing anything. So, hashtag, earn those 350 because i don't even understand why these people are being paid not to do anything guys come on you live in the city work let's do the difference together jerlyn what do you think about yeah. about this and this look, thing here one thing i want to highlight is that this is not even political this is people this is our community this is our living areas whether you're black white pinstri pinstriped or purple doesn't matter mm -hmm. we all need to participate the free monies we're giving out in grants, the 350s. People should be doing small jobs like this. If many of them do little parts of the city, they can go and then collect the 350. Let them earn the 350. Based on performance. Get people, yeah, get people engaged and get them involved and let them feel the pride of actually being part of cleaning up the city and earning the 350. Thank you very much. Not even political. This yeah, exactly. It's like, like people, people are thinking thinking like changing changing everyone, mayors everyone, and all that and fighting. It's not a DA, it's a people. Exactly. It's not thank DA, you. Nothing. I just want to say thank you to all this amazing team that we have here, guys, because these guys have been the champions. 
Guys, thank you very much. Guys, thank you very much. Awesome. We got all this amazing team working together. Thank you. God bless you guys. Amazing. We are making the difference in our city. We don't need anyone. We do it ourselves. And uh, yeah, thought about positive stuff in the inner city, but I can't, you know, hide this stuff anymore. You guys know, you know what I mean? It's just the potential, but uh, what we are doing here, it's uh, it's very important and I hope uh, in future events we can bring more people. And meanwhile, I want something to be done because, yo, this is not acceptable. Especially in a historical building like this. You guys, instead of fighting and changing and all that, you guys should put your, your hands working because nothing is being done. Okay, Jay, what do you think about this? that we can report things. We need every citizen that walks past this notice to take to take a picture and post it. Thank we you. We need to flood the portals that they open past to report yeah. these things so they can see the actual series about these things. Yeah. yeah. Not acceptable. I'm showing this and now I, I look I'm sick and tired of this. Eh? Yeah. Unacceptable. Look 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 how this pavement looks. It's ridiculous. Look at Why? this. Is there any reason it should look, look like this? what the heck is this? Yeah. Seriously? This is the best you can do? Look at it, a fall of two meters down. This, 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 this is unacceptable. Yo, I am speechless with certain stuff, eh? If certain parts of the city are actually looking good, it's because it's being done privately, you know? Let me tell you one thing. Nobody cares if we don't care. That's, that's, the, that's the arch truth. Brother, tell us your opinion. We finish now. What's your uh, what you were telling us about how you feeling? Like people don't have pride anymore. Where is the sense of patriotism? How can we make the difference? Uh, the difference starts by me. Yeah. The difference starts by thank me. You. And I would like to say thank you for the opportunity that I had today. And I also have to take it back to the community and my children to show them sometimes. Don't say that you are less fortunate. But you can make a difference and it starts by you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gerilyn, tell us how you think how you think after all this. It feels fantastic to walk on a screen on a clean street. It feels fantastic not yep. to dodge pieces of paper. It's ridiculous. Yep. Yep. That's us guys, this is making a difference. Oh, another one. Another one. What's this? Seriously. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think today was a success. Um, we made a, a great crowd was uh, came through, and it's a small initiative, but in the long run, I think it will be something that will become big and stay consistent and just to bring awareness. A very small initiative from our side. But big because we made a difference because we are the city and this is what we do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell us. So, what do you think about doing all this for uh, the group? It was a great experience. Jovic uh, was there at some places. Guys, we must stop littering. Uh, wherever you go, just pick up papers and throw them in the bin. And we need to keep our city clean and safe for all of us. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. My name is Ndigo Marange. I think we have to, to keep our town clean. As you can see, more we done cleaning the city and then it is now. You can see it only. Yes, we did our best. <laughs> good, good, good. So we collected much more than this, but yeah, scary. Yo guys, I'm so proud of this group of people that we have because look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We technically finished, but they are still doing that bit. Wow. Very proud about this this event. Really, really proud. Hey guys, this is Leia again. I feel great after this. My city is cleaner. I feel more positive. I feel like I've contributed to my city. I look forward to more of you coming in future to help us make our Johannesburg look nice and clean again. Thank Cheers, you. Guys. <laughs> okay, Jay, tell us about the conclusion of the event. Tell us about what we achieved here as a, an amazing team of dozens of people. So I think it was a great success. Um, we'd love more people to participate. There's so much to be done, guys. So, so much. We actually went outside of the scope of where we were. We were meant to be cleaning for four blocks. 
but we ended up going further to a basketball, basketball court where my boys personally go and play basketball and I had no idea how freaking full he was. So, guys, there's just too much to do. Let's get busy, please. Please participate in the next one. Can you show us how much garbage we collected in two hours? And there's still so much still all over the place that needs to be collected. But also that we managed to get together, there's still more coming. Um, we now need to find a way to dispose of this and get it to a dump. Yeah. Um, yeah, because right now there's not even a pick it up or something that could be for Because I've given up. We tried yeah. reaching out to you guys. We did a meeting. We did a pitch up. A research. We'll just bring the pictures to you on Monday or Tuesday. That's what I can see. So my team has basically spoken to the city. They've been liaising with them to collaborate and get involved and get more done. Um, no, not much came out of it. But we'd like to forward them the pictures of all the damages and the drains and everything that we need them to assist us with getting fixed. Thank you very much for your amazing initiative. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're sorting this out now. Again, privately. Just please guys, don't litter, don't litter. Sure, this was like what, 10 bags? Easily. Is this all of them now? Yes. There you go. We cleaned all that shit cleaned. Out of the corner. No, there would have been another 10 bags. <laughs> yeah, but we, we couldn't take, uh, we couldn't take. We yeah, couldn't take. Risky, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Okay fam, so, all of these amazing people actually worked their asses off. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Earn your 350. There you go, guys. So we make things rolling around here. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to eat now something. You guys can see we got some hot dogs oh, yeah. and stuff.